Hi, Mr. Arbitrage here, and what I'd like to talk about today is the headline, Google accounted for 65.1% of May U.S. searches, up from 59.3% a year ago. Impressive, right? <laughs> well, the title of this little disquisition of mine is, Oh My Lord. Mr. Arbitrage has done a 180 on this stock, and it's one that I'm neither long nor short on, but I think it's important for me to talk about because I have lauded publicly this stock fairly recently. But when I, when I read these headlines, for some reason, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. It just happens to be the world. Right now, 65% of the world uses it. Can you imagine what would happen if or when some other Stanford grads come up with a better search engine? People are going to use it. People are going to use it. I reflected back to my first time using Google. I started using the internet in 1996. And like many people, I used at that time Yahoo. Then sometime around 1997, a colleague of mine at the office told me about this great search engine that basically takes the top searches or, or takes the, the top search engines and combines them into one search on their page. Uh, that company was called Dogpile. And I started using it and I was sold. I used that for probably a good four years. Subsequently, this colleague of mine left the company shortly thereafter but came back in, in 2001. The funny coincidence is, is it's the same guy that steered me to Dogpile, who then later on, about four years later, turned me on to Google. One day we were doing some research and he was looking over my shoulder and I thanked him for telling me about Dogpile and how I told him how I'd been using it all these years. And, uh, <laughs> And, and he said to me, well, I, I don't use Dogpile anymore. I use Google. Use Google. That, that, that's the best. And sure enough, I did. And I've been using it ever since. Actually, it's been probably about a good five, six years now. So this guy's kind of like my search engine guru. The bottom line is this. And today's headlines really woke me up to this fact. And it should have been so obvious. 99% of their revenue comes from advertising. 99%. Don't get me wrong, AdWords and AdSense are great uh, programs. But if a better search engine comes along and people suddenly discover it, it's scary. It's scary how quickly Google's revenue and profits can dry up. 99% of their revenue, 99% from advertising. The problem is it, it's not like a network, a television network or a magazine where most of the people are using them for proprietary content. Although they have some interesting features, most of the content about which people care can be found through other search engines. We just happen to prefer the way Google compiles it and presents it. Right now, Google is the best at it. Indisputable. But again, we're talking about what if. We're talking about what if something better comes out. If that happens, you're gonna be having a deliverance moment and you're not gonna be Burt Reynolds you're going to be the next Ned Beatty. And, you know, this isn't a slam on Google. They're not doing anything wrong right now. I, in fact, they're doing everything right. And I think that's why they're on this acquisition spree. It, it's very smart on their part. I, it's almost like a replay of the AOL days of the 1990s where AOL and Steve Case managed to sucker Time Warner into selling out to their bubble currency it was the equivalent of selling out their company to selling their company for Russian rubles. But Google, uh, 
while they're doing everything right and the revenue's there and they are number one, they are playing this absolutely brilliantly in the sense that they need to use that currency and buy as much property as they can. They need to buy companies like YouTube, where this is now posted. They need to pick up companies with something esoteric to offer, not just a popular search engine. They need to pick up companies who have patents, who have content, who have intellectual property that will in add value to their shares. And that's something to think about for companies that are considering selling out to Google, uh, whether it's worth it for them to do so, I guess time will be the verdict. I like Google right now, I like Google short term, but I don't like Google long term. It scares the heck out of me. I don't, because of that 99% factor, 90% of revenue coming from the sheer fact that they are the popular search engine, I will not touch it. I like it short term, but I'm not a trader, so I'm not going to buy it, and it scares me too much. I think the risk versus reward long term is way too high. As I said, they're doing everything right. They're playing it perfectly. You can't blame them. But it, it kind of it made me think about, I was watching with my wife about a week ago on Discovery Channel. There was a story on meteors, and the way the scientists talk about it, they say that it's not a question of if a large meteor is going to hit the Earth and have catastrophic consequences. They say almost is in a matter of fact way that it's just a question of when. Well, that's kind of the way I feel about Google. Though, as they said in the uh, show regarding the meteors, it could be a million years from now. So the question is, how long can Google's primary source of revenue, 99% of that, how long can they stay on top? How long can they fend off the barbarians at the gate? And will they be able to acquire enough properties with that currency while they're still hot? Food for thought, it's going to be interesting to see. I think the upside for Google, best case scenario from here, is about 100%, maybe 200% if all the planets line up, so to speak over the next few years, but downside, I think a catastrophe is possible. I don't know if it's going to happen, but um, you know, it, it wouldn't take that much of a decline in revenue to send their stock price in a headlong fall.